Today, we are diving deep into the world of stock trading, focusing on AMC and the impact of high-frequency traders on the market. Back in 2021, when AMC stock was trading between the $60 and $70 range, many traders faced challenges when trying to cash out their preferred prices. Let's explore why this happened and how it affected not only individual traders, but also institutional investors. Hello everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert this is not a financial advice video. The modern stock market is dominated by technology-driven trading, particularly high-frequency trading, HFT. These HFT firms utilize powerful algorithms and high-speed data feeds to execute trades in milliseconds. They often front-run orders, exploiting price movements and gaining an edge over retail traders. Suppose an individual placed an order to sell their AMC shares at $70, a reasonable price given the market conditions. However, the high-frequency traders, armed with real-time data feeds, quickly noticed this surge in sell orders at $70. To maximize their profits, they swiftly executed sell orders at the same price, flooding the market and pushing the stock price down even before the retail trader's order was completed. Short sellers, who bet against the stock's price, also face challenges due to HFT activities. When they attempt to cover their positions by buying back shares at lower prices, the high-frequency traders again come into play. These traders anticipate the stock's rise and start buying shares before the short sellers can execute their orders. As a result, the stock price surges and short sellers are forced to cover at higher prices, leading to losses. This unfair advantage is a result of biased exchanges that prioritize revenue generation over market fairness. Ideally, exchanges should act as neutral referees, ensuring a level playing field for all participants. Unfortunately, some exchanges prioritize those who pay higher fees, leading to preferential treatment for high-frequency traders and hedge funds. This lack of neutrality impacts both individual traders and institutional investors. Retail investors often find themselves at a disadvantage, unable to execute trades at their desired prices due to front-running by HFT firms. Institutional investors, despite their size and resources, are also affected as they struggle to execute large trades without driving up the price. One potential solution to mitigate the impact of HFT is the use of IEX, a stock exchange designed to prioritize fairness and transparency. IEX introduces a special speed bump that ensures all market participants' orders are treated equally, reducing the advantage of high-frequency traders. However, the widespread adoption of IEX faces resistance from some in Wall Street who prefer the status quo. These exchanges and market participants argue that they offer simplicity and ease of use for the average trader, dismissing the complexities of IEX. Another challenge is the fragmentation of trading across various exchanges. With the same security traded on multiple platforms, it becomes challenging to determine accurate share counts and ownership. This lack of transparency raises concerns about market legitimacy, leaving investors questioning the reliability of the reported data. Without a comprehensive system to track shares and verify ownership, the risk of market manipulation and naked short selling increases. This lack of oversight allows bad actors to take advantage of gaps in the system, potentially harming retail investors and distorting the market's true value. Speaking of AMC, there have been recent concerns about fail to deliver, FTD, and potential naked short selling in the stock. FTDs occur when trades fail to settle within the required time frame indicating possible manipulation or irregular trading practices. Adam Marin, an individual closely involved with AMC, has raised alarms about this issue and alerted authorities to investigate further. Such transparency and vigilance are crucial to maintaining market integrity and protecting investors' interests. Despite the challenges and uncertainty, AMC has continued to outperform the broader market. It has captured the attention of retail investors and the wider investment community, creating a sense of community and excitement around the stock. While there may be ups and downs, AMC's strong fundamentals and dedicated investor base suggest that it has the potential to weather short-term turbulence and achieve long-term growth. In conclusion, the influence of high-frequency traders on the stock market remains a significant concern for both individual and institutional investors. The bias practices of some exchanges further compound the challenges faced by retail traders. To level the playing field and enhance market fairness, 
the adoption of platforms like IEX may be a step in the right direction. However, addressing the issue of market fragmentation and ensuring transparent and accurate share counts remains equally important. In the case of AMC, vigilant monitoring of fail-to-deliver situations is vital to maintain market integrity. With a resilient investor community and strong fundamentals, AMC's future prospects look promising despite the hurdles it faces. As investors, it's essential to stay informed, be aware of market dynamics, and support measures that promote fairness and transparency in the stock market. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.